get into these conversations around what it means to see our movements as part of a greater whole. How do we all work together, not just to address the injustices that we have in our in our sort of sectors of movements, but how we are all bound together within the climate crisis and how we can move together to address the crisis by addressing those very root causes of oppression and marginalization. We need our stories. We need our voices, each and every one. We need to fight back. We need to make poems, songs. We cannot be condemned to live in a claustrophobia in this narrative that they've created for us. We cannot be who they tell us we are, tell us of our experiences and what they should mean. We know it's a time for others to listen. That thread for me centers on the notion of grievable lives. The phrase comes from an essay by the American feminist philosopher Judith Butler. Butler writes, and I quote in part, to demand that every life be grievable is another way of saying that all lives ought to be able to persist in their living without being subject to violence, systemic abandonment, or obliteration. Is there something here in this notion of grievable lives that calls to us, to all of us? Is there a portal of solidarity here that might take us together beyond the original vision of our human rights charters toward a project of radical social and political transformation? Certainly not in and of itself, I realize, but is it perhaps something to start with? A motif, perhaps? I give the final word here to Butler, who writes with elegant simplicity that in order to stand a chance of persisting, we must affirm each of us to the other that you are grievable to me. The loss of you is intolerable, and I want you to live.